Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. In 1984, we had boom boxes. In 2014, we've got little tiny loud Bluetooth speakers. And I am taking a look today at the can. This is the uh, Tones Audio Can. It's a tiny little speaker uh, that connects to your uh, mobile device via Bluetooth. And it will also allow you to plug things into it directly, of course, through the uh, little adapter there. And it is a very loud little speaker. So let's take a look at the hardware and then I'll kind of go into more. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's, it's already starting up here. I'll be going into a little bit more detail. So as you can see, it's very tiny. And if we cut, cut back to my other camera, uh, you can kind of see it in context. It comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So uh, you have some options for uh, your preferred color. And uh, you have uh, a set of four switches here. They're a little uneven though, um, but you have the uh, mode button here. So that'll switch between some of the modes, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, play and pause button, uh, and then an up and down button, which doubles for track movement and volume. And I will explain that in a minute too. Um, you have a blinking light here, and it uh, supposedly tells you things, but it gets a little confusing. Uh, you have your on-off switch over here. Uh, it also supports uh, memory cards. Now, it'll play uh, MP3 files only. I tried loading in AAC files from iTunes, you know, the kind of music you would get from the Apple iTunes store. It doesn't play those. It only seems to play MP3 files, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that is there. And then, of course, you have the auxiliary connector uh, and a USB port, which is used for charging. They give you two chargers in the box, so you get uh, a little wall adapter. It looks very similar to your iPhone connector, and you also get a car adapter as well. Both of these are one amp chargers, so uh, they'll charge your phone a little bit faster as well over you know, some cheaper ones. Um, this is the top of the speaker, and uh, it sounds pretty good. And let me just hit the play button here, and you can see it's going to play off the memory card by default. And then, and oops, let me turn the volume up here. Now you see when I'm hitting the button just once for volume up, it's actually trying to switch tracks, but I only have one track on there. If I hold it down, it will get louder. This episode and it is video very, is very, <laughs> let me turn it off here for a second. Uh, it is very loud. In fact, I was surprised by how loud it is. Um, the range of audio isn't so great. Uh, it, it sounds good or okay, especially with spoken word and podcasts and that sort of thing it sounds pretty good with. But um, I found that the high-end sounds are louder than the low-end sounds. So it does have a little bit of bass to it, but you're not going to get any kind of booming bass. It's just a little uh, you know, more on the tinny side, although it, it sounds really good for compared to a lot of other Bluetooth speakers I've looked at uh, in this size and form factor. It sounds decent, but you're certainly not going to get a lot of high-fidelity audio out of it. Uh, it is, like I said, loud at the higher ends. Uh, you can actually chain them together as well, so you can um, almost have a, have a whole bunch of these things acting in tandem, but it's only mono. You don't get any uh, stereo sound out of that, so uh, keep that in mind. Now, another thing they include is an antenna, as you can see here, uh, because there is a built-in FM radio on here as well. So uh, what you can do is kind of step through the different modes by uh, hitting the M button, and you'll get to different areas. I couldn't get it to uh, work too well with, there's the uh, FM radio mode. I couldn't get it to work too well in my area, even with the antenna connected. The antenna actually, uh, it takes on a life of its own. Uh, the antenna connects to uh, the device uh, in its USB port. So it kind of doubles as an antenna and as a USB port. Um, and oops, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the button here. Uh, so when you push this in here, it will, uh, uh, act as an antenna, you can extend the antenna up and you've got yourself a little radio. Although I think you need to be pretty close to a station. I couldn't pick up any stations where I am, but I am also in the middle of nowhere. So that uh, might contribute to that. So uh, that's that. Uh, pairing up via Bluetooth is very fast on my iPhone f uh, 5S. So uh, when we pop in here, uh, as you can see, it'll look around for it. I think I have to switch back to its mode to do that. And what they said is that when you first switch it on, it will default to Bluetooth for like three seconds. So uh, we'll wait for it to pick up here, and if it doesn't, we'll have to find the mode. And that's one issue with it, is that you kind of have to step through these mode buttons, really not knowing which mode you're in. There's, again, four different modes. So my suggestion would be to pop out the card, because if it doesn't see the card, uh, it, won't, uh, it won't attempt to uh, read from it, and that gives you a better chance of actually finding uh, the Bluetooth mode when you pop it in there. So we will, let me step through the mode here, and we'll see if we can get to a Bluetooth mode. And that's one of the problems is that you really don't know when it's in the Bluetooth mode and you kind of have to poke around at it a little bit. When I first got it, before I initially paired it, it was, oh, there we go. I think it just beeped. So I think we are connecting to something. Let's see. There we go. So now we'll hit the can. And pairing is pretty quick. As you can see, it's going through its motion right now, I think. 
There we go. And now we're connected. So uh, if I were to switch over to uh, you know, my podcast application, I could start uh, playing some audio pretty quickly. So if I go to my player, I'm listening to uh, This Week in Google. And with notifications from email chat. there we go. Like I said, it sounds better with uh, spoken word uh, than it does with music, but um, it is really loud. Uh, one last thing it does is it does have a microphone on board for conference calls and speaker phone calls. The microphone's okay. You can listen to it here. So with me, I'm just testing the will be down on the microphone. Thank you. So it's not going to you know, become your conference room telephone, but if you want to have a couple of people around for a telephone call, uh, it'll certainly project very well. So that is the Tones Audio from Can, and I found it to be a pretty decent little speaker. Like I said, it sounds uh, louder at the high frequency sounds than the low frequency sounds. It's certainly not uh, going to knock your socks off as an audiophile device, but it can uh, project quite well. It's always hard in these videos to convey how one of these speakers sounds because uh, really all you're going to hear on these videos is what my microphone picks up and you can never really uh, get a real world feeling for what, how one of these things sounds. But I will say it's on the better side of, of Bluetooth speakers that I've tested and I've tested quite a few. And like I said, it is very, very loud and it can certainly uh, project quite far. It is a little confusing to navigate that mode button and the blinking light can be a little bit hard to deal with, especially when you're trying to pair your phone up. Um, so that might be a, a little bit of a problem, but once things are up and running, it, it works uh, fairly flawlessly. So that is uh, the Can Tones audio speaker, and this is Lon Seiben. Thanks for watching.